the Australian fauna is something pretty unique. There's no other country in the world that has that many reptile species. So it is quite remarkable that we still keep finding things here on this wonderful continent that we have completely not expected. This is a monitor lizard and in the skin there are loosely embedded little bone structures called osteoderms. These structures look like chain mail and we just recently found them in 29 monitor lizard species from Australia where we previously believed they were absent and they yeah they look like chain mail but they can serve all kind of different functions that might add to the ecological fitness of the animals. They are quite unusual in monitor lizards compared to many other lizards. We know some very heavily armored lizards in Australia, like the shingleback or pine cone lizard, for example. And there you have those very massive bone plates as a protective armor, we believe. In monitor lizards, it's completely different. It is as if they were just a loose cover of chain mail. The monitor lizard itself has a comparatively smooth skin, so it it is no surprise that it has been overlooked for such a long time. You cannot see from the outside that these animals have osteoderms. You have to look inside. What we can do now is with very new methods, with microcomputed tomography, we can look into the entire animal and we can see every single heart tissue structure that is there. So this is basically a CT scan, like you know it from the hospital. It's just much more refined, it has a much higher resolution and for the first time it allows us to non-destructively look inside the animal and this is how we found quite unexpectedly those 29 species that wear osteoderm armor that we didn't think they had. Monitor lizards are very agile sprinters and pursuit predators. If you look at their morphology and their metabolism, they are actually much more like a mammal than most other reptiles. So this agility is actually not fully compatible with a very heavy bony armature that would restrict your mobility. In monitor lizards, we believe that this led to possibly a reduction of the osteoderm cover, maybe even the loss, and then a possible re-evolution of osteoderms. So they were reacquired in their evolutionary history in Australian and Papuan Varanids. We need to study the Australian monitor lizards regarding the actual evolutionary pressures. It might help us better understand not only why monitor lizards have osteoderms, but also maybe better understand the evolution of the entire Australian ecosystem that we know today.